In the last video, we made these cows. I put these cows in the list. I told the list to sort. In order to be able to sort cows, cow has to implement iComparable, and we're just comparing on the name in this case. In this video, I want to look at iComparer, which differs from iComparable, and that iComparer is an external way of comparing cows. For example, the implementation that I have on cow here is I'm comparing the cows by their name. And if I want to compare the cows by their weight, I could simply just change this to weight, and change this to weight and let's console right line their weights dot weight you notice that we made random weights here inside the constructor for cow and I'm actually going to seed the random number generator so we get the exact same numbers every time I hit control F5 otherwise it'll just seed off the uh, current current time since the computer was booted up I believe anyway control F5 here are all the weights in order, 579, 677, so on and so forth. Obviously, I probably want to buy this cow. And that's fine and dandy. If I want to change how we compare cows from their names to their weights, I can come in here and change this code. But what if somebody else wrote this code, and this code was packaged up, and I didn't have access to it? Or maybe I want to be more flexible. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to do this. But let's say compare to is back on the name. But I want to sort these cows based on their, their weights. In fact, here, let's just say cow dot name uh, plus a colon golly I think I just do a two string inside a cow in fact let's do that I'm gonna control X this let's override two string two string and just return that nice clean output of what a cow represents and then down here I can just say for each cow uh, let's just print each cow control F5 of course it doesn't build Cow does not exist because cow is now this. T H I S. It's this object. So control F5. There we go. There's Abby. She's 833. Bacon 677. They're ordered by their names because we called sort. Sort uses compare to, and we just did the names. But if I wanted to sort by weight and I didn't have access to this code, I couldn't change this code. I could make my own custom I compare. So I'll say class my. Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. My cow comparer. I did control shift comma. That was a hotkey comma to go out, dot to go in. My cow comparer. I will implement I comparer, not I comparable. We did I comparable on the actual object we were trying to sort, but now we're doing an external con sorting condition, so it's an I comparer, and it will compare cows. Control dot Visual Studio, please stub out the methods for me. There's only one, it's compare. It takes two cows and it's called X and Y. I don't know why. Let's call it left and right. I wish they would have called it left and right inside the I compare compare interface. Now compare is the same as compare to. It returns an int and that int indicates whether uh, one is less than the other and so on and so forth. If I return in a negative number, then left is less than right. If I return zero, then left is equal to right. If I return a greater than zero number, a positive number, then left is considered greater than right. And so the condition down here to compare on is simple. Return left dot weight minus right dot weight. Let's just look at this real quickly. Let's say the left cow was 400 pounds and the right cow is 500 pounds, then left, in this case, is considered less than right, and so 400 minus 500 will be a negative number, will return a negative number, indicating that left is less than right. So that's the correct behavior that we want. Let's say left was actually 100 pounds, or not 100 pounds, 500 pounds. 500 minus 500 would give us zero, and that, that means equality, which is very good. And then let's say left was... 600 pounds. 600 minus 500 is 100, which is a positive number, which would indicate that left is greater than right. So there we go. We have a custom compare. It feels a little Java-ish to make this this class, though, just do a comparison. But this is how we did it back in the early days, and still relevant today. But generally, we can get away with using lambda expressions, and that's the compare thing. I'll show you uh, if I hit Control Shift Space here. That's the comparison thing. I'll show you shortly but for now I've made this custom my compare so now all I have to do is say hey use uh, my cow compare 
don't go off the default implementation of compare to for cows i comparable another reason why you might write my cow comparable is maybe cows are not comparable okay you saw how that throws an exception in the last video but say i wanted to make cows comparable but i didn't have access to modify this code i could certainly make an external uh, cow compare anyway i'll control z put all that back let's compare cows by their weight and using my cow compare control f5 you can see now they're ordered by their weight georgie is 579 he's the lightest cow all the way up to betsy oh big beautiful lass there let's take her to the butcher shop anyway let's illustrate that uh, this compare is actually being called i'll put a breakpoint here f10 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 add all the cows i'm going to f10 on me list sort f10 you can see right now we're comparing georgie to betsy georgie's weight is 579 Betsy's weight is 974, so obviously Georgie is less than Betsy. That returns a negative number. F5, uh, new weight here. What cow is this? Abby, 833, compared to Betsy, 984, so on and so forth. At F5, Abby, 833, compared to Georgie, 579. So anyway, it'll call sort until the algorithm has determined that the items are sorted. So that is i compare it's a slightly dated in the next video i want to show you this comparison delegate and how that works